All right, so YouTube is going. First look of the day uh, in honor of Jund. I don't even know if we can call it like Jun mid range anymore, but Jun won. Uh, I think the Saturday Modern Challenge, but it was like Jun with Urza's Sagas, uh, Tarmogoyf, Dragon's Rage Channeler, Ragavan, uh, like a tutor package for Saga. Really cool deck. Super glad it it, uh, it took down the challenge, but in honor of the shard winning a challenge this weekend figure we'll play some jun chatter today uh making some some kind of big changes from previous jun shadow lists we've run for instance we cut the scourge of the sky claves for four copies of dragon's rage chandler so now we're on like this hyper aggressive one drop package uh, along with tarmogoyf who's just a beast in general we've added a copy of Unearth, two copies of Coligan's Command, a copy of Renin Six, and a copy of Unholy Heat, replacing some of the flex spots such as a Croxa. Uh, we replaced a the Twentieth Land, replaced the Seal of Fire, and some other stuff that apparently isn't memorable enough to to mention. But going a little bit lower on the curve on the the interactive side and the creatures. See how it goes. But we get some cool grindy cards like Renin Six and Coligan's Command. Uh, there's been and Unearth. There's been a big uptick in like the Grixis Lurus decks. We need more two for ones to fight those matchups. And I'm hoping some of these cards will kind of pull their weight there. In the sideboard, we've also changed up some things pretty significantly. We've cut the third Nihil Spellbomb, the second Void Mirror, for two copies of Chalice of the Void. We cut um, Kozilek's Return for Torpor Orbs. We've got two Alpine Moon, an Ancient Grudge, Terminate, and Abrupt Decay, so a little extra spot removal, good artifact hate. Uh, two copies of Engineered Explosives for the Go Wide and Per Red guys. And we're going to see how it goes. Might as well uh, give it a shot. See what happens. So, first league, Gun Shadow. We've gotten so many three twos in the last like three, four weeks. We need to up that. Pretty, pretty decent opening hand. It's like a Lurus Mirror. So if they play a turn one Ragavan, we'll be in some trouble. But instead, they're going to fire off multiple baubles for, for whatever reason. I can't imagine that's the right choice, but what do I know? I'll just start with the next position. There is the Ragavan. Dothy and Croak says, or Dothy and K Command as well. So interesting one. I think I'm going to take the Dothy. We don't have a good answer to that card. If they want to spend this turn dashing a Ragavan at us. We get to untap uh, Thought Seize away the Ragavan and Thought Seize again.
Looks like that's probably what's gonna happen. They hit a blood crypt off our side. So we could play We can play the Tarmogoyf, and they can't currently kill it. They could have like fourth land, unholy heat. Hmm. I could play the Channeler and Thoughtseize. That way they're more likely. I think that's what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to channel our thought sees. Because I think they're pretty likely to fire off this unholy heat on the channeler. Not gonna fire off the unholy heat. They drew into fourth bobble. I could take Turok so that they can't just like top deck a land and kick a Turok on us. I think that's probably best bet. Yep. Holy Heat's gone. They did top deck the fourth land. All right, so if they don't hit anything good this turn. Yeah, we knew about the cake, man. That's fine. Hindsight definitely could have planned that better with the uh, uh, what's it called? K command. All right, so let's take their K command. Get down Tarmogoyf. Uh, yeah. Getting down Tarmogoyf so I can double spell with Shadow and Goyf next turn. Now they've got Bloodstained Mire, Ragavan, so they can play Ragavan, add Lurus to their hand. Dragon's Rage Channeler is a pretty good pickup for him. That's a pretty good pickup for us. Alright. So what's giving me best chance of winning? Is it playing into top deck Lightning Bolt by just going double creature go? saying like if you rip the lightning bolt I'm dead or is it playing out one of our threats passing like I'd rather kill the Luris So like the big problem with play Goyf hold bolt 
is if they attack, I'm pretty pressured into just bolting the channeler. And then they get Luris plus replay channeler. Like, I think I'm supposed to play the shadow here. Like, if I... If I play shadow, I'm safe from one removal spell. A bolt to the face kills me. But if I'm planning on playing or bolting Luris anyway, then... Bolt to the, then I can just save the bolt for my turn and it's fine. Hmm. So like if my plan is to bolt Luris, I need to play Shadow Pass. If my plan is to bolt Dragon's Rage Channeler, I just pass. if he doesn't top deck a land he can't lure us plus creature anyway uh. yeah I think it's shadow You got the bolt, you got the bolt. Like, Luris has to attack. Or not Luris, Dragon's Rage Chandler has to attack. Now, Shadow's lethal, my Goits are lethal. If they didn't find a land and they play out a naked Luris, I can bolt the Luris and attack through. Look at this is Luris Bobble. Now we pray. Top deck like a path or a push. Nope. All right. So yeah, that was kind of the benefit of Shadow is that if he doesn't top deck what he needs that one turn we've got Pretty good amount of pressure going on. All right, interested in any number of these. Board out, trim some hand disruption. Trim a couple ragavans here. When in doubt, Stadia Shadow. My learning uh, Latin here. It's got to be a Latin root, right? Where's it? Ipo. <laughs> I was like, what does this? What does a stadium have to do with the? Uh... <laughs> playing a shadow but if your keyboard had an aneurysm that makes way more sense uh what's my last board out gonna be just like another ragavan 
tap over it's Mike's brain. Foxies. My head's just over here like Stadia, Stadia Shadow. Uh. Sounds Latin, but I didn't recognize it. And this is after like four years of Latin. Hmm. We know I've never learned my lesson on keeping one landers. Poor one with John Scourge just now. I'd like to post it in my YouTube because it's built a bit different, but I got some notification email for work. Is shown in the record. <laughs> yeah, I, is there any way to like white it out or anything? Bet they take the bobble here. I don't know. Take a shadow. But I want my shadows. Let's go ahead and play this out on one. Don't have a video editor. There's a, a free one that I've used like once or twice. It was pretty good. I'll have to remember the name of it, but pretty solid. Nah. One lander's our only weakness. Dothy Voidwalker's our second weakness. gonna double channeler into my known EE with me drawing two really bad cards can't punish it I don't know why you would play double channeler out when you have Like when you see my my EE there and know that I'm drawing two cards. Makes no sense. OP knew. They they saw my the top of my deck and were just like, you know what? Never gonna have it. Saw your name and was like, this dude keeps one landers and gets punished. He wasn't wrong. Like, I'm pretty sure some insane percent of my losses recently have just been to keeping one landers and never seeing a second one. Heck yeah, we're keeping this. Keep a card on top with Darcy, stop cracking your bobble now. No. You kept a card on top that you wanted on top. Knowing that I've got thought seizes in my deck.
we did win game one. We won game one, lost game two. I chose to be on the draw. OP. <laughs> All right. Am I just throwing down a Tarmogoyf? Yeah. See if we can find a land next turn. Is there a Death Shadow Discord? There is a Death Shadow Discord. Prismatic ending. Rough. Rough, rough, rough. The card on top. Can't cast that one. All right, land. Out of land. For my benefit, I did keep a two lander this time. You like OP? Have got there. We've got Ragavan, Ragavan, unknown. Still have access to Luris. Sort of a Ragavan. The last card's Ragavan, they're adding Loris to hand here. Interesting. If they go cast Luris from hand. All right, so now they can't Luris and dash Ragavan, which is nice. If they cast Luris from hand, I sack spell bomb and draw a card. 
If they dash Ragavan, I'll pop. I don't really want to pop Ian like. And stuff. Need better stuff. This is a Ragavan. So if this is Luris plus land in hand, they can play Luris, replay Ragavan. I don't get a priority opportunity. Good old wrong side of the deck, Jun problem. If you mean the uh, the six lands, a little bit, like, I don't mind getting up to four. After that, we're, we're a little overkill. I have to decide whether it's worth it to I think I'm better off just killing the dashed Ragavan and like trying to find a way to kill Luris off the top. We've got a lot of ways to kill Luris off the top. Plus a Luris of my own. I can always like Luris plus Spell Bomb if I just don't want to deal with this uh, Ragavan. Hmm. Luris plus Chandler. I could shock. Luris, Goyf, Channeler go to one. I'm just going Luris, Channeler. Definitely need him to have nothing, but kind of needed that for a second now. All right. If his last card's dead, we're in a decent spot. Planning on trading Luris's? Like maybe he says he's got the life total advantage. A 
Okay. So just to get Ragavan back. Eight command off the top would be really good. Kill that for sure. I'm not going down to three. We'll take K command off the top of your library as well. Sunbaked Canyon. Not quite. So I'm probably going to keep dashing Ragavan because it does dodge uh, Silent. Or not Silent. <laughs> does dodge Prismatic Ending, which we know is in their deck. That's a pretty decent one. Um, I'm going to play the shadow first because this way, if they have a Coligan's command, uh, they can't like kill my Ragavan, uh, and make me discard the shadow. If I like wait till second main to play the shadow or something. So if they do have like a prismatic ending, get to check that here. Boom. Good call. What do you got? I don't want to click off their Luris. I want to know that they had access to a Luris this game. important Ian what's up do we get there yes want to know really good games there I wish we could have made the game two a little more competitive just so we could have had like a full three game series that was good, but we'll, uh, we'll take the W. Wish Prismatic ending was instant speed. I bet you also wish Siege Rhino had flash. Dirty Abzan player. <laughs> Like, if Prismatic ha Ending had, um, had Flash, that card would be nuts. It's already really super, super good, but giving it more. Is it one or less on Prismatic Ending, or is it just one like is it just equal to the colors or is it equal to the colors or less it is less i don't think it's ever come up but it All right, something, something, one lander, 
something. Watch out, bro. When we return to Tarkir, comes out. Siege Rhino. Super Siege Rhino will be printed. It'll cantrip, have escape, and have 17 foil versions. Alright. Humans action, eh? Let's just go ahead and uh, bolt the hierarch. I need to draw a second land anyway. If I draw a second land, they have like Thalia. I can still play Tarmogoyf. Land? Hey. Never, never, ever, ever punish. So, Overgrown Tomb. Play you. Play you. Do the thing. The thing. <laughs> OP. OP. <laughs> I've never been so disgusted in my entire life. <laughs> oh man. On the bright side, like I've got an abrupt decay for this first reflector mage. So if I take that out, they're at least like not really doing anything relevant for a while. I'm also a big fan of just like K commanding them, making them discard. Let's actually let's go Chandler plus Goyf. Yeah. Why not bobble yourself there and see if land is on top? If it is, just fetch bolt on opponent's upkeep. Because I'm stubborn after the lack of uh, of good land draws previously. <laughs> so many, so many counters, so little time. Ooh. Ooh. You don't say. That's what you want to do. So, I will gladly take the unholy heat and just not fetch. But, I'm going to give myself the option. So, if I decide that I want to fetch, I can. Like, if they just go Reflector Mage, Bounce Tarmogoyf, or something like that, then I'll just fetch. If they pre-combat play Phantasmal Image, I'll Abrupt Decay the Thalia's Lieutenant. Because I've got the image covered by Renin-6 regardless of what it becomes. Never punished. Never punished. Opponent's never had third land. Opponent knows the suffering we've been going through. They understand. All right, so we got Terminate, Abrupt Decay. We've got Torpor Orbs. We've got EEs. We've got Torpor Orbs. Holy crap. <laughs> what a time to be alive. So we can get rid of Unearth. Rid of some Ragavans. They're gonna get stonewalled really quick. Last slot could be Ren, it could be 
and I think it's just gonna be a hand disruption spell. Like, Rin's got some play to it. It's a lot better on the play, obviously, because you can take out, like, Champion of the Parish, Noble Hierarch, something like that, that they play on turn one. Uh, but yeah, let's roll with it. There's no justice. That was complete justice. Opponents playing humans. They deserve no justice. Okay. What do we think here? Pretty bad, right? Much better. We will ditch. Who's ditching Bobble here? Turns on Delirium, but like I don't really want to lose any of these other cards. Humans is a fine deck, right? Humans used to be a fine deck. Never punished. Never. Never in the history of mankind have we been punished. Let's go ahead and get Chandler down. At the yard. Yeah, humans used to be like tier zero modern this kind of sucks if they play like a sanctifier here deal what do you want to name mtgs Our opponent has no idea of your mtgo hacking right now they never never respect it In a swamp. Get delirium online. Keep it thought sees that way we can triple spell next time. Double Imperial Recruiter. We'll take one of those. Which means there's a decent chance that this thought sees is going after whatever the Imperial Recruiter for. Especially if it says something like Sanctifier on Vec. Or Oriok Champion. Two humans in the top eight of the 2k I just played in. Like, I've played two leagues of humans ever. So what is it good against right now? Like, what matchups do you see and just go like, Oh, thank God I'm on humans. Do get Sanctifier. Raise on green black value town. Is that <laughs> that's our meta consideration for humans? All right. So their hand is Champion of the Parish, Thalia's Lieutenant. They played the Ziggurat. Am I just bolting the champion here? I don't have to do it right now, so I can wait and see. I might want to go for like a a double block blowout next turn or something. Wow. But I also really want to add Luris to my hand. I think I'm just going to take my bolt value now. It does let me attack with shadow. Sure. Now I can play the foothills, attack with shadow. This deal three, six, put them to eight. We're going to be losing a couple life off of a couple of uh, things with Peatland. 
Carry on. Recruiter is so slow and the meta is so fast, don't understand why they play it. Uh, I'm guessing, like, Recruiter to go get Meddling Mage in the matchups that you don't have it is really nice. But I do agree. Like, three mana Recruiter. Recruiter on turn three, if you have an Aether Vial, is, like, fantastic. But Recruiter, when you don't have an Aether Vial, pretty rough. Either way, it has a lot of nutty draws and just goes off quickly. It's good against control decks with only a couple big threats. Yeah, but like, are there a lot of those decks right now? Like, control exists a little bit. Haven't seen much Amulet Titan recently. And I feel like most of the Shadow decks and Luris decks are like too diverse. Too many different removal spells and angles of attack and whatnot. But they always have turn one Vile though. They did in those two games. Thankfully. We would have been in a lot more trouble game two if they'd had a Vile. Speaking of not seeing Amulet Titan. <laughs> All right, Fran. One day they're raiding you, the next day they're up against you in a modern league. Oh, how the times change. Triad of the Elysian. Man out here trying to persist, Titans. Persisting Titans in the year of our Lord 2021. The nerve of some people, am I right? All right, so I could could fetch shock, bolt myself, play a shadow. I don't think that's where I want to be, though. Hmm. Will bolt myself to put instant in the yard so I can grow Tarmogoyf, play Shadow, have Unholy Heat. If he drew another land, he could persist a uh, a dryad and then play the other dryad. That'd be in a lot of trouble. Doesn't look like he had another land. So. Alpine Moon can name Valakut. I'm assuming he's running Valakut if he's running Titans and Dryads. I don't know this exact deck list. 
Corporal Orb stops Titan triggers. Everything else is pretty meh. It could be on, it's probably on Urza's Sagas. So EE is an option. Ren looks pretty rough. Earth is bad. I'm a K command, go like this. See what happens. A lot of really good interaction. No threat, but I'm on the draw with a bobble to kind of help find one. I think I'm going to keep it. Relic of Progenitus. So next turn, I'm probably just casting the Ragavan instead of dashing it. Am I thought seizing? Yeah, this is fine. The top decks of persist. Yeah. All right. Nice. will absolutely take that one. I wish I could take that one. Last, the rules of the game don't allow me to. We get a scoop to this. No scoop to the saga. I need red. I mean, I got blood crypt, blood crypt treasure. That, is that not enough red? <laughs> also, if we hit a Titan right here, we can play it, which is hilarious. Relic, yep. We do need 
do need to like kill him before he can get a Titan online. Brad's fine. He's, I know he's got Vesuva Second Saga in hand. Got full information there. Aaron Briggs not doing anything. Oh, no, we were so close. <sighs> this is like the downside of Ragavan is just not a quick clock. Terminate off the top, one time. Hmm, so close. I think I'm just like not showing him Torpor Orb. Like if I live to next turn i'll play torpor orb and i shouldn't be dead but i don't really want to just like show him that this is in my deck and maybe change his sideboarding decisions i don't want to show it to him if i'm dead so this could get like radiant fountain All right, so it's just going to pack for a dryad. Yep. I draw a double bolt in one draw step. I can draw off that. All right, game three. So funny enough, if we had been on the play that game, we could have gotten there. Unholy Heat's like, it's better if they don't have uh, a way to nuke my yard. Worse if they do. Like, I can make an argument for any of these.
Like, how much do I want to respect Relic? Do I want to, like, board out a, a Goy for a channeler or something? Something like that. Do I want to bring in Ancient Grudge if I'm this concerned over Relic? Or not Relic, over... Urza Saga. Ward Loris and the recursion seems good. I mean, that is why I like having access to it every game, yes. Dogfish, what's up? Alright, we can do better. Yeah, we've got double bobble. Yeah, I do keep this. Like, I would have loved to have seen turn one Ragavan or Dragon's Rage Channeler. But we've got the uh, the double bobble to help us find a threat. He moles to five. Amulet E E Titan. Just take amulet. We can abrupt decay and EE. -E. Drawing catacombs off the top. Into another type. Do need to get a clock. This is a tricky one. I don't want to overcommit into the EE, but I think I have to. EE's here. Next turn, I can dash Ragavan, add Luris. If he doesn't EE, then I'll just add Luris. I should have probably upkeep abrupt decay the EE. Try to make him use mana on that. I think that was kind of free.
get the shatter bigger. Go, Loris. Shadow from the yard, Ragavan. Could have dashed the Ragavan and played the the shadow. I think I just kind of want the shadow out or the Ragavan out on the battlefield. We've got unknown, unknown. Hog Saga, sure. Ragavan so much worse than these uh these matchups than like scourges. So if his hand is three lands and he goes attack with Titan. Oh, scratch that. We exiled a Titan, so we just had three in the top 17 cards. Can't do much about that. Construct. What do you get off? Fetch land is so rough there. If it had just been like a normal land drop, I could just kill that. We can Teleria West, like attack Teleria West, go get another Dryad, but he can't Teleria West for a Dryad before combat, which is huge here. Bolt off the top, bolt off the top. Do you have nothing? Huh? Huh?
Yeah. <laughs> oh man. Uh, that was that was a weird one. Not a top deck bolt, but we'll take it. I think he just miscounted his mana when he went to fetch and shock there. And like thought he had six to be able to tighten or thought that he hadn't played his uh his land yet when he played the verdant catacombs or yeah maybe he had a second land and just didn't play it he probably had a second land and just didn't play it or didn't get a chance to play it since we responded to the trigger off the verdant catacombs coming into play so he probably thought he was going to have uh, another land available, just didn't. He could have fetched in response to the abrupt decay, yeah. But I think it would have put him down to three life so if he didn't think he could kill us is a bit of a liability and then probably just miscounted when it got that's my guess as to what happened is he didn't want to go down to three if he couldn't kill us and thought that we weren't going to be dead if he fetched in response to the um, uh, if he fetched in response to the abrupt decay and then afterwards he could transmute for another dryad and just miscounted like thought that he had, uh, had played both of his lands for that first dryad and since he didn't get to that left him with five mana instead of six to be able to transmute for a dryad and it says good luck have fun that's just my guess. I don't know for sure. Fran might be streaming, so he'd obviously have more insight into it. So let's... Go ahead and get a Blood Crypt and Inquisition. Or Belcher. And they have enough to cast a Char Belcher next turn. But they can't activate it, so our out is like them missing a couple land drops. <laughs> Does it count as missing a couple land drops if it's like Velikid Stone Forge? But if we get to play Ren next turn and make sure that we hit our third land drop, it doesn't look like we're going to have a third land drop. Well, might as well play for the out that they just top deck like running, uh, running land or non lands. Running really bad cards. Oh my god, are we gonna get away with this? Are we actually getting away with this? So, discard, destroy an artifact. And discard, recross the paths. Ooh! Baby. Alright, got another recross on top.
Greek draws here. We'd have them dead in two turns, but with this recross, they're probably gonna have us dead next turn. Maybe they don't. Maybe they can't make enough mana. Because I don't think they have anything that gets them from one to two mana. Or no, they do. They've got... No, they can't make a treasure and play the thing that, like, sacks a treasure. Like, if they go and put Reforge the Soul on top, they have to pay two for Reforge. And then they can play a land after that. But I don't think they can go off with one land. Recross bugged. I've heard people say that, but I don't actually know like what's bugged about it. Like, what is the bug? Cross was fixed according to Sodex tweet. That's good enough for me. Um, put any extra card types in the yard. Like I could unholy heat my own Ren. But I think at this point, like, being able to Ren Emblem next turn and just, like, loop K commands is probably worth it. Not that it's necessarily going to win the game for me, but... And I don't think Thoughtseize matters here. So do I want to... Let's see. Reforge the Souls, just like a... A wheel, right? We both shuffle in. No, we just discard our hand and then draw seven. So, thought seizing now versus waiting doesn't matter. Alright, time to see if they can or can't, in fact, go off from one land. They can. Back to the Titan, I forgot about that card. Forgot about the Pact. Alright. Let's see. Let's take a look at the cards. Blood Moons, Infernal Plunge is the sack of dude, make three red. I've seen that one before. Nothing else, kind of funky. All right. What do I want? Else for packed. 
Yeah, like it's only good if they don't have any lands like that situation, but he can take out treasure tokens. I definitely have a ton to take out. Just deciding what's worth bringing in. All right. So pushes coming out, an earth coming out, an holy heat coming out. I'll keep in lightning bolts because they can speed up a shadow clock or just bolt to the face. And we'll go like this. Uh, artifact removal does because they have to rely on treasure tokens a lot of the time to get up to the mana needed. So you can take out treasure tokens with ancient grudge and things like that. Like, it's not a good game plan, but it's better than keeping fatal push and, um, uh, Fatal Push and Unholy Heat and stuff like that. Like, I'm not relying on those things to win. I just need to bring in cards. Alright. So they have Ley Lines, so we're probably dead. And I'm gonna plan on thought seizing my own Renin Six next turn and like bolting myself. That'll add instant sorcery and planeswalker to the yard, get me some channeler triggers. Maybe I can like find a shadow and present a turn four kill. Imagine this matchup to be really hard for Shadow after Leyline because of no wraiths to power up a Shadow. I think it's just bad for like any Shadow variant ru not running Stubborn Denial. Especially if they've just got it here. which it does look like they just got it. I don't think Chalice even buys a turn because they don't need to go Infernal Plunge here. They can just like, or I guess they do. It's turn three, so yeah, Chalice would be okay. I don't know why I was thinking they hadn't played their land drop yet this turn. They have played their land, so they need a third one next turn. They have to have Infernal Plunge if they reforge the soul. Or... No, because they won't even have red mana to do both Reforge and Infernal Plunge. I'm assuming he's got third Morphos if he just fired off two of them. But maybe that's wrong. So for the Charbelcher players in the audience, if they banned recross the paths, would that just like, that completely kills the deck, right? Like no way to recover from that. Just curious. I don't think they should. Like I think modern needs some number of combo decks. I just haven't played the deck, so I'm just like curious what uh, 
what the most irreplaceable pieces are. But they can also just go off with like a big empty the Warrens or something next turn, right? Not if we chalice, but... Either recross or reforge. Yeah, and I feel like if they were ever to ban one, which again, don't think one should be banned. Uh, I would assume they would ban Recross first. Because it's like the kind of card that only shows up in a deck like this. Doesn't matter in anything else. Uh, we'll put it. I'm going to Thought Seize Bolt myself Ren, so I'm going to have Delirium anyway. So I can put that on the bottom. Upkeep, bolt myself. I guess I could bolt the Tarmogoyf and save some life, but... If we're, like, looking for Shadow or something anyway, it's fine. Alright, Bobble's not bad. Uh, Den of Foothills... Sees myself. You. Card Ren. Hobble myself. We are presenting lethal next turn. Can you kill me? Their deck run fogs. I'm going to be so mad if they fog me here. Holy crap. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Recrosses like Belcher's 5 through 8, but on Rufy's Kraken Acid. I don't know about on Rufy's, like... Kraken Acid, I can believe, or I can agree with, but Rufies, I feel like is the opposite of what you uh, you want your recross to be on. All right. Can't remember what it does. The green creates a token and go to dungeons. No idea. Hmm. We saw his power roof is definitely in the mix. So he mold. This is potentially turn two delirium. If I flip over a creature or a uh, an instant, but I just don't think the clock off Dragon's Rage Channeler is doing it for me here. Especially with four lands. Like, if I, if I draw another land, it's just horrible, horrible hand. Alright. This is better-ish. Kept on six as well with no ley line. Let's start on Thought Seeds. You were trying to Blood Moon me out of the game. That's not nice. I don't appreciate that. I 
I could let him Blood Moon and just go like Channeler, Channeler and have Bolt. Gives me like a reasonable shot at getting to Delirium. I could take Pyretic Ritual. And just kind of say like if you top deck a ritual. Got it. Blood Moon also grows Goyth. That's close. That's really close. Like, I... I feel like I can beat Blood Moon. So I think I'm gonna take Pyretic Ritual. Slam a turn to Goyf. And then if he Blood Moons, I've got... Channeler, Channeler. I'll save the bobble for next turn with the Channelers. But like, if Blood Moon here means there's also a good chance he won't be able to recross the paths. That's a good draw. Here's a channeler. Here's a channeler. The bobble. Then you. Ah. Uh, so binning that grows the goif. It also gets me up to delirium, so I think I'm gonna ditch it. I should have bolted. All right, just cast or recross the paths here. Don't you dare have Belcher. You did not just blind draw the... Come on. Ugh. <laughs> Line drawing the Belcher. So we could have taken the feet, yes. But they would have still had turn three Blood Moon. Or turn two Blood Moon. We'd have had Channeler Channeler. Maybe the clock is enough to to put pressure on him. But like I don't think it would have mattered. It's like life total would have been exact same here but we couldn't play the goif which meant they'd just be hard casting a belcher here and if they hard cast a belcher they're still killing us next turn with just activating the belcher and we're not killing them next turn so i don't think taking the uh the feet changes the clock because they just blind rip the belcher Yeah, it would buy a turn, but we neuter our... Or buy a turn, but we neuter our clock by a turn. So, same outcome.
could draw a cake man, but we couldn't cast it. We wouldn't have a swamp. We'd have to draw a runner runner swamp K command or second bolt, I guess, would be an out. But at the same time, like they did have to draw a fourth mana source and a belcher in their three draws or whatever. So. I think your line has merit. I think my line has merit. I don't think either of them mattered. Oh, uh, that was a frustrating one. The game's gonna keep tempting me with these one landers. That dark ritual or red dark ritual. I don't know if I, I can handle that one. But didn't you already have Simeon Spirit Guide? What more do you want? Like in Sodex, <laughs> choices any line doesn't matter. You're right there. Like, no argument. This Eldrazi Tron. You have a dismember. Do not. You do have a matter of shape. Well, not Smasher, Smasher, Karn. All right. <laughs> How about a second land deck? Take my Unholy Heat. We'll still take second land. Should have specified. Fickle deck is fickle. I've got active blast zone. Got Reality Smasher. Am I just playing out the shadow anyway? So Karn, second smasher, unknown, unknown. They could get like a a basilisk collar off Urza's saga. Maybe a relic of progenitus. Both would be pretty all right.
Looks like it's just going to be going for, uh, for Blast Zone here. So what do we need? Something like a K command would be pretty good. In case we have to end up fighting through, um, what's it called? Corn. All right. Okay, command still not bad. Nice. So, I just passing Trying to like catch them inside of combat or something? Or am I attacking with Ragavan? And if they block, shoot Thought Knot and Chalice. That gets Goyce up to three fours. I think I'm just gonna try to like catch them inside of combat here. Wagner, how's it going? All right, so discard, destroy. Guard reshaper. I'll go block, block, block. Best draw would be like a shadow here. Let's have another chalice. All right. We've got another K command. Don't want shadow now. Fetch land wouldn't be terrible. Bobble's not terrible. Ragavan's terrible. Should be dead here, right? They just have another smasher. Yeah. 
All right. All right. I don't think I want EE to take care of their chalices. I think that's a little too narrow. Ragavan gets shut down by walking ballista pretty easy. Love to play first. It's a pretty decent hand. Thought season to Goyf. We've got Alpine Moon for Urza's Saga. We've got Ren. Just take Relic so we can get Goyf down unimpeded. Hand's not great here. They've got a map, but they don't have like a, a Tron land. So if they end up mapping for an Alpine Moon, that's pretty good for us. Jinkies, how's it going? Uh, we're currently three and one this league. We lost last round to Char Belcher. Yuck. Now we've got opponents blind ripping chalices. Hmm. Oh, let's just start getting Goyf going. Oh man, we were in such a good spot too. When I play against Citron, I always consider the top deck chalice because they always do. Unfortunately. Growing Goyf. Add a counter to Blast Zone. Yep. Yeah, we'd be in a really solid shape this game if it weren't for that top deck chalice. But how it goes. I guess they can't currently cast or can't currently crack blast zones so that maybe counts for something. Working well to make a dude, sure. 
That's not ca her cracking blast zone. Who knows? Maybe they'll uh, they'll not find a fourth land here. If we somehow manage to pull this game out of the hat, I will be shocked and appalled. That's a fetch to ping the walking ballista. Unfortunately, they can for sure crack the uh, the map now. So our best draw becomes K command or abrupt decay. Something that lets us take out the chalice and play a one drop. Another Tarmogoyf. Hey. Spatial contortion, my dragon's rage channeler, please. in with these. <laughs> the void has just been running modern for the last like month or just everywhere you've got control decks playing chalice you've got like every mid-range and aggro deck playing chalice heck we're playing chalice today but it's looking a lot better for our opponents than it is for us So let's hit a K command. Why the K command? I'm gonna get Ren and ping the uh, the Karn. 
So if they want to get a bridge, they have to sack uh, the Karn to get it. If they want to like coding tick up on a land, then I just get Ren to get it back. Okay. Needed them to attack at the Wren. No corn. For my Alps. Or I can get back Goyf. Still draw a terminate. Gemstone Cavern doesn't do anything. No second smasher. No second smasher. No second smasher. <laughs> no second smasher. Feel like they would have windmill slammed it by now if they had it. I know about the cavern. Oh, you actually have nothing? Oh my god. Alright, I'm not gonna show them void mirror. Am I just attacking with Goy for my attacking with both? Definitely attacking with both. People are actually going to start thinking that I'm doing a trophy race. Alright, so I definitely should just play the Void Mirror here. Like, Void Mirror just kind of stops whatever top deck they might have. I don't even think I got a bobble back. Fine, we'll see if it ends up punishing me. Ooh. All right, on to game three. Extra Decay is definitely coming in. I might have to bring in AEE if they're gonna top deck chalices like that. have to be here on the 15th for the kiss absolutely do 100% do the so ragavan's looking even sketchier on the draw is this the list that won the challenge no the list that won the challenge was like a jun mid-range list with urza's sagas like a whole bunch of Ren and Sixes and stuff. I'm not cool enough for all that, so... You get this instead. Not a Saga head. Neither am I. Like, Saga is the kind of card that I feel like dumps on me and doesn't dump on, like, the unfair things. I want to dump on the unfair things. 
Except Char Belcher. Fuck that deck. <laughs> Drawn map. Got it. Shadow. Pretty sure I shuffled you away. Do they keep a one lander? Is that what we're doing here? <laughs> Is it a race to find the second land? All right, off to the races. Next turn, I can Ren, get back a land, play a Shadow. Unless they have a Chalice here. Quality magic content. Debatable. <laughs> no! Yeah. No land, please. Especially not that land. Could have gotten stomping ground to have a trial land, but you know what? Too late now. What's done is done. Classic Jund won Saturday's challenge. I don't know if you'd call it classic Jund. Jund won the classic, yes. Uh, but it was running like Urza Sagas and an Urza Saga package and things like that. So I would have a hard time calling it classic Jund. What do you want to take, OP? Feels weird to be on this side of the thought sees bug. Not bad. Uh, I think I'm just playing out Shadow too. Like if they want to blast zone me, that's. Fine, I've still just got two Tarmogoyfs on board. They could all of this dust me. Maybe that was a reason not to play out the uh, second shadow. I feel like all this dust is usually like a one of maybe a two of and i don't really want to like get in the habit of trying to play around it especially when i know my opponent has like four chalices in their deck got a car in the great creator what you want to do with that thick boy Relic of Progenitus. Pretty sure this means you're dead. Pretty confident. Yeah. Okay, 4-1. 
one loss coming to Char Belcher. So I feel like it was a pretty solid league. Uh, so what were our matchups? We beat Eldrazi Tron there. Don't think I've added back to the Jun side yet. Uh, what else did we play against? Lost to Char Belcher. We played against brands like Green Black Titan Deck. I don't know what we're calling that. Um, what were the other two matches? Humans was one of them. And what was our first match of the league? Something. I'll figure it out in a bit. All right, what do we think of the list? I thought the main deck was pretty cool. Brennan 6 was okay. There were a couple times where we had a one lander, and I really wish we'd had 20 lands. But it wasn't like to the point of, oh my god, what are we doing? Unearth probably isn't necessary. I could see like any of these being replaced pretty easily. In the sideboard, we had Torpor Orb. We saw a Titan matchup, but we didn't see Torpor Orb. Uh, EE, I think the only decks we really cared about EE against was like humans. Void Mirror was okay. Bell Bombs were okay. We didn't see a Chalice matchup. Alpine Moon would have been great. Would have been a lot better if we, if uh, our Tron opponent hadn't have had Chalice. But I think the card's still very good. Abrupt Decay was pretty good this league. I don't think we saw Terminate. But we got some good information there. So let's see. I kind of want to just run back Jun for the second league and just change up like some of these flex spots. Overgrown Tomb instead of Unearth. Possibly. Like Twisper Macy play now that we don't have Dismember to lose for life. Um, Night Twisper might be going a little deep. Like, I feel like if I'm going to play a two for one card, I'd rather it just be something that's uh, actually affecting the game in some meaningful way. Like K Command or potentially Renin 6 or something like that. Like, Knight's Whisper is always just going to be the the blind draw to. But K-Command, it's a known quantity. Like, you know you're going to blow up a certain artifact or two damage to a certain creature or make someone discard, get back a specific creature. And I think, like, that known information has a little more value. Uh, and Sex 6, I didn't see your comment earlier, sorry. Uh, still no Scourge, no TBR. Well, I wanted to try it with the eight red one drops, the four channelers, four ragavans. And we definitely lost some percentage points and almost lost a match against green black uh, amulet titan because we had ragavans hitting instead of like Scourge or Tarmogoyf and just gave them a bunch of extra draw steps. But I don't think that's enough to say that like shouldn't be Ragavan. I'm definitely starting to come around on Ragavan. I don't think I'm at the point of saying like, oh my god, it's insane, you have to run this card, but not bad. But I really want to find something for like these spots. I'm kind of okay with the extra K command. 
I don't want to assume that we need the 20th land because it could have just been variants. I don't know for sure that it was variants, but I'm okay trying out another uh, 19 land league. Second Ren. Maybe. Dolphy I've been really unimpressed with. Like, I've had that. Uh, I've had people ask about Dolphy before, and whenever I play the card, like the best thing about it is it just being a three-two with Shadow. And if that's the case, it's very, very under underpowered for that slot. Like, is Grave Hate? It's horrendous because it just dies to everything. Uh, it's like grave hate that your opponents can just lightning bolt or fire and ice or whatever and that part's rough and so like if you're not getting the grave hate part of it why well, run it it's a good sideboard card versus Tron I mean, yeah, but that's like magical Christmas land. Like, if you're on the draw, Dolphy doesn't do anything. But they got Tron before you're Dolphying into a discard spell. If you're on the play, you discard something, you get Dolphy it back. Like, that's really good, don't get me wrong, but you're not going to have uh, multiple games on the play post board. So you're like always going to have to have your Tron opponent miss Tron one of those games. So if I add a Ren, drop Unearth. On the board. I really am digging these abrupt decays. Like, I think uh, Merc Tide Regents kind of at a low enough point right now that we don't really need to board a ton for them. Maybe we'll just run this back, see what happens. All right, sure. Um, actually, I wanted to try... Have you ever ancient grudge? Honestly, never leave my home without a main board abrupt decay. What if you gotta like go to work or something? You just like keep track.